It's Ash from Super Videos back for another preview or trailer breakdown for an upcoming episode of The Last of Us on HBO. This is going to be my trailer breakdown for Season 1 Episode 8 which is called When We're In Need. Stay tuned, we'll be right back to break this down. Alright, as always, before we dive into it, smash the like button, subscribe to join our community, and press the bell to be notified when I upload on the channel. With that said, let's dive right into it. Now, this episode is obviously gonna tell us the story from the current timeline, which ended at the end of Season 1, Episode 7. Obviously, we had a bunch of flashbacks in the previous episode, but... The current timeline as it sits right now is one where Ellie is helping Joel survive the stab wound from the previous episode, season 1 episode 6. So this episode is going to be the continuation of that. And looking at the video game, we're actually going to get into the story with David's men. Now I'll explain a little bit who they are, but not too much because obviously if you're not a video game player, you don't want to be spoiled about who this group is. This trailer starts off with this shot of Joel and Ellie. Obviously Ellie is still protecting and trying to help Joel after finding the medical supplies and kind of treating him a little bit. And then we see here this shot of Ellie with the sniper rifle that Tommy gave them pointed at someone and then in the voiceover someone says you won't survive for long out there. And it's obviously revealed that this guy is the guy that is looking at Ellie. Ellie has the gun pointed towards this guy and this is David. And his men are gonna have a storyline that I'm not gonna get into, but they're gonna try to bring Ellie to their group. That's all I'm gonna say. But he says, there's room for you in our group if you want. Which goes back to what I said. Again, there's two ways. Either he's telling the truth or he's not telling the truth. We're going to see which of those two cases it is. And then we see this shot of one of David's men looking at them. Now, one thing I do want to mention is this is obviously exactly from the game. I mean, David's introduction is the exact same. It appears that they're in some sort of a barn. And it's obviously still the winter period, which matches the timeline and the story from the game. But one thing I want to talk about when it comes to this guy, this is one of David's men. His name is James, and the actor playing him is actually Troy Baker. Troy Baker is the guy that voiced Joel in the video game. So that's a little bit of cool Easter egg for you if you didn't know already, if you're not a video game fan. But it looks like he's also going to get somewhat of a major role in the story, which is kind of cool. But then we have this shot of a little town where I'm assuming David's men live. But we have this shot of a few people from David's men. They're praying and everything. And then we have this shot of David. He's reading the Bible and he's talking to his group. And then we have this shot, which is, again, David doing some sort of a preaching session with his group. And then we have the, when we are in need, we shall provide. Which obviously refers to the title of the episode. Now it looks like David's men, unlike the game, have a religious side to them, which is new. It's a theme that wasn't really there in the game, but it's there in the show. I wonder if they're going to completely change the theme from David's Men or if they're going to keep that the same. I don't want to spoil it, but if they do it the same, then it sort of contradicts this sort of situation here. But we're going to have to wait and see. And then we have this shot of James talking to David. He says, I don't mean to question your sense of mercy, David, but she's just another mouth to feed obviously referring to Ellie. So it looks like there's people in the group, James being one of them, who oppose Ellie joining their group. And then we have this shot of Ellie with the sniper rifle. She's shooting at David's men. But we have this awesome shot of David, James, and other people in David's group. This shot of Ellie with the sniper rifle and in the voiceover. We have David or James, I can't tell, but one of them says, if we leave her out here, she'll die. And then we have this shot of Ellie protecting Joel still. And then this shot, which shows Ellie putting a blanket over Joel's head. They want you to think that maybe Joel dies, but 
He's obviously not going to die. I mean, he's the main guy. He's the main character. He's not going to die like that, right? I'm just going to leave it at that. But then we have this shot of Ellie shooting this deer. So she's doing some hunting, which is cool. This goes back to Joel and Ellie's conversation a bit earlier in the season about hunting and dressing the hunt and everything like that, which is cool. But in the voiceover, I think David says, maybe that's God's will. And this goes back to what they said earlier about Ellie dying if she's left out there. Self-explanatory, not much to break down, but obviously this further proves the theory I have about this group being some sort of a religious group or a religious cult, which is definitely a nice addition, an interesting addition. We have this shot of the deer that we were just looking at, and then obviously Ellie hunting the deer. She takes the shot, and then we have this shot of the mountains and the woods in the area and then we have this shot which I'm assuming is from earlier on. I think this is when David first introduces himself but we have Ellie pointing the gun at James here and it looks like they're in the same type of barn that we saw earlier. We have Ellie riding away on the horse or trying to escape. We have this shot of some more of David's men and then Ellie obviously trying to escape here and then we have James picking up the rifle and then shoot someone, I'm assuming, either Joel or Ellie or both, or tries to, I should say. And then we have this shot of David saying, the others want to kill you. Self-explanatory, not much to break down, but it looks like Ellie is in some sort of a jail cell. Again, this is exactly like what happened in the game for the most part, and we know what David wants to do. I'm not going to get into it. For video game fans and players, you know exactly what I'm talking about. And then we have this shot of what appears to be a bar or a restaurant catching on fire. And then in the voiceover, David says, let me protect you. Goes back to what he said earlier. They want to kill you, but let me protect you. Now, this scene right here with David in the restaurant that's burning was in the game. We know what happens here, but I'm definitely hyped. I mean, the stuff at this particular bar or restaurant in the game with David and Ellie was fantastic. I hope they don't change that. I hope they keep that the same. But then we have Ellie here picking up a knife. Pretty cool. Not to the game, obviously, because this is the type of stuff you do in the game. You pick up stuff in the drawers and the cabinets. So this is cool. Ellie shooting David's men. We have this shot of one of them dodging the bullet. And then we have this shot of the burning bar or restaurant that we saw earlier. And then this final shot of James with the sniper rifle looking at what I'm assuming is Joel and Ellie escaping or something along those lines. But this is super cool. I mean, I'm definitely hyped for this episode. It looks like it's an action-packed episode, which I'm definitely super excited for. We haven't had too many action in season one. I hope we get more in the last two episodes obviously but this is the lead up to the final episode so they're gonna have to turn up the intensity because it's been sort of mellow so far if i gotta be honest compared to the game but that's pretty much everything i hope you enjoyed this video if you did smash the like button subscribe to join our community and press the bell to be notified when i upload on the channel that's it for this video see you next time for another super video